Pat Daddy, hey. What's up? Boys and girls, how you doing? We're back at Egg with Doki Doki. Um, and the outro I didn't save, I didn't realize that until now. And I didn't even know we had a history bar. Or this little history tag. Had a little stuff that I missed. Um. Yeah, hold on. Isn't there one that... I don't know if they do that, but oh well. Um, yeah, I haven't decided who to start with. And you know, I'm gonna start with Monica, cause why not? There isn't really anything I can do about it. Hi again, Kali. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going. Oh fuck! I, I read that right. I don't know. Every time I read something right, I always think it's wrong, but every time I think say it's wrong, I know it's, I don't think it's right, or... What? Okay, every time I read something right, I always think it's wrong, and everything, every time I think it... I, I, every time I read something wrong, I read it, I think it's right. There you go, I'm sorry, I'm really, I'm just out of control right now. Kind of out of control, like, theory. <laughs> I'm happy you're playing yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh huh. I wouldn't count on that. You'll never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I'll give my palm to Monica. Alright. Oh, Holy jump, Cal. Okay. I was getting up with my head while reading it. It's kind of fast, wasn't it? Really? <laughs> Metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect it to be going for something so deep. Me? I guess I underestimated you. Oh man, I'm sounding like the best. Guy. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. And that way I can count on one and effort. Oh, that's smart. Oh, that ain't very fair. I guess I work too anyway. You know, that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing is full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally going, is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's totally giving up on people. She spends so much time in her own head, this possibly much interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's being, she's used to being indulged like that. She must really start for a social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strong. Like early. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a tab alone. So, some of them open. Yeah. I'm back. Is there that, like... She's tall. I'm gonna search up her height later. You know, I'm gonna search up her height later. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we just started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. <laughs> no need to apologize. We have we still have plenty of time. So I'm more than glad that you took all the time you need. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I shouldn't get my poem now. But anyways, you wanna read my poem now? Say I like the way this turned out, I hope you do too. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna be here anymore. <sighs> Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful. Okay, what? What? Okay. See me. The colors they want bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. I'm thinking of the words myself: red, green, blue, and endless. Meaningless noise. Of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violent grating of I can't read that. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sight, cosine, tangent. A math. Like playing a chalkboard on a Okay, I mean that. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Endless something of meaning. In this poem of meaning, I think that's what it says. Delete her. <laughs> K 
okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I don't know, like, it seems like my, my reactions are a little different. Now, like, I'm, like, one scare one moment, but then, like, when I see glitching out and, like, the leader, and it's like, oh my god, let's get, let's push, push, we're getting control, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, man, I'm noticing my, my fingers on WASD, like, i used to it. God damn it. I'm just trying to give to him. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult situation. When it happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when um. Why who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me when you can hear me. Anything? Is it getting brighter? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I saved. Okay, I saved during the off, off screen. Okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try like if someone gets deleted again, I'm gonna try go back to my load. Cause that's what happened last time. It, sh it showed up anyway. So I'm gonna try go back and see what happens. Instead of starting a new game, since I think once it starts a new game, it gets uh. Oh, something's loading. What a while. Um, let's go not Save your for last. Hmm. I like your last one better. Hit hey, real. Oh, I'm real. Well, yeah. I can, oh, well, yeah. I can tell you were a little more dang with this one, but you're really not going enough for that yet. I felt flat. Well, that may be true, but I want to try something different. I still trying to figure this one out. Fair enough. You're still new to this. I won't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you're spending more time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend time with. After a while, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Ooh. Oh, wow. Since you should at least be able at least look over my poem, you'll probably be able to learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. Oh, this is long. I don't like to read that much. I have to read fucking 90 pages, man. By Tuesday or Wednesday. That sucks ass. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. Why am I afraid of? Why am I not friends with her? Oh, that's why I'm not friends with her. Fucking dumb, man. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy held me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay, this is weird. I don't think this is a poem. This is more like just... An essay, like something from like fucking kindergarten. <laughs> Amy has a lot of friends. I see her. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks with about spiders. But if her friends start to like spiders too, that's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better without spider lovers. I want to everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday was way too short. It was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best thing you do. Of course not. Anyways, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant, ignorant jerk. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something you're afraid if people find out you make fun of you or think less of you. That's but that's just what makes people stupid. <laughs> Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. Happy? Sorry, that was a question mark. I didn't see that was a question mark. I'm just reading like it was a normal sentence. It's a statement. Wow. I don't need my glasses. I don't know. It's weird though. 
I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things, such as two of the girls in this very club who aren't expecting who they don't know name. Kind of ironic that even in my own place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what's with I respect to you? Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that I respect you even more, so. Whatever, you're done sharing, so you can leave me now. You leave now. And. Yuri. Huh. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you were in for today. Hmm. You said that the poem was surprised expression on your face. Do you like it? Girl, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was feeling the kind of technique worth practicing. Maybe. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I only wanted to try giving it more imagery. You're visibly swallows. I'm gonna try that and make that sound. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that. Oops. Sorry, my phone turned on a little bit. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty because her arms are weak, legs are weak. Legs weak, arms are heavy because his mom, there's been. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch up this stuff. Okay. <laughs> arms weak, legs weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on her sweat already. Mom, spaghetti. Oh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazed to feel I'm valued, Carol. Everything that you write is treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'll write a poem all this feeling. Is that bad, Carol? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a hard time than usual. I can't see my own emotions. It's kind of embarrassed. But right now, I want you to read my poem too, okay? Oh, she's smiling. Hey. Oh, this is fucking. Ah. Uh. There's no sounds, okay? There's no sound on this one. They don't have their hair little theme in there. Okay, that's weird. Wheel, rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bottle head. Line here, Falling sky, seven holy states, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God swimming with open water in all directions, drowning a prayer written in the blood, a prayer written in time devoting snakes, a devouring snakes with human eyes. I... Oh well, that's okay. I'm gonna keep reading this. I need to know all these things. Thread connecting all living human eyes. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it off all these stakes. Exponential gearbox, the sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence, existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions. I don't know what that word is. Farty gears? Fa Four, 40 gears and a ticking clock. I thought, isn't 40 spelled with a U? I don't know. That might be just me. Oh well. A clock that takes one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every. For time. Every time it takes every second in time. A bot. Bolt head of oh it's a bolt head oh shit I'm dumb bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dark ship to another world that uh, I don't know what the word is of blood written in clocks a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 4D gear and open human eyes in all directions breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing shit breathing portal breathing snakes breathing god breathing blood breathing holy stakes breathing human eyes breathing time breathing prayer breathing sky breathing wheel <gasps> uh -huh. it doesn't really matter what it's about my mind has a hyperactive lately today so i had to take it out on your pen oh uh, that is a pen fell out of your bag 
took it for oh, saying um I really like the way it writes so I wrote this poem with it and now you're touching it uh huh I'm um, okay did I just oh shit no 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 okay what if you can keep the poem though I can't miss what's going on. I'd rather keep this. I've been to blow my cover. Rude. Damn, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. It's only a game, it's only a game, it's only a game. Okay, everybody. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Oh. We have something. And go over to if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is it not best of all? Well, let's talk about it. Uh, do you really have to do the same? Do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We will end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well in last minute preparations. Don't worry too much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. Everyone know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Kale joined and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't time for us to be complacent. We still only have four members and the festival is only a real chance to find more, you know? Oh, uh, there's like a little mark above my screen above Yuri's mouth hole. <laughs> We only have enough to be considered an official club. My members will just mean everything will get nearly and more difficult to manage. Oh, no. Fuck. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings as you brought in here in the first place? In the Lyrics Club should be a place where people can express themselves and what can do. It could be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. You know how people feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival even though it's something small. Right, Carol? Ah. Oh. Oh, come on. You can't really. You can't take advantage of Kip agree with it just because she doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think of any of us here join the club with other people in mind? You ain't never talked until Kali joined. As for me, I I just like it better here than I do at home. And Kelly isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but do you really... Oh, sh I'm freaking out because of... Once the music stops, I need something's coming up. I know something's coming up. Sorry, but you're the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. You know, you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica's learned to make my Nazi's word. Oh, thank the Lord. That's not true at all. I'm too you and Kale want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. I showed as much enthusiasm as... If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's not nothing more than a place for you to hang out. Oh, she's fucking Monica. Why did I even think that anyone's here the same as I did? Why does it mean that we're again just getting new members or anything? Why did you even join this club in the first place? That's getting serious mode, guys. Why were you hopping together? Why were you getting... Hoping, oh. what were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can honest, be honest about it. In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of this anyway? What if I started the club? What if starting this club was a mistake? No, no, you're not, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not being honest. It's about word choice. 
Besides, you have no right to speak for anyone else in the club like that. You don't stand at all. I just, I just want a place to feel nice and hang out with people with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that? For me, there aren't any other places that like for me. I'm like that for me. Now, Monica just wants to take it away from me. She's not taking away anything. No, Kale. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean. I was for a bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores her and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Yeah, I put my rubber band down. I forgot about that. I mean, I like how nice and quiet this club is right now. I'm just happy to be with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my sponsors and things like that. Well, what'd you care? What'd you want to get out of this club? You're expensive. I give an answer. Indirect answer, you know, nothing. I think the most important thing is everyone to get along. For the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about many members, but rather the quality of each member. As will end up making the Lurch Club a special place. I see. I only agree with you. Each member contributes her own qualities in a special way. No. Bad thing. No, please not like Yuri. In a while. I'm not going to... I've seen the blood drop out. And I'm on the side as well. Alright. Well, maybe... Talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Oh, I've seen the blood. Yuri nods. Yuri. You know this... Well, awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know what I... A wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want, I want to do everything I can do to mess with you. Fucking scared, okay? Me too. Yeah. I just go home for today. Talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Carol? Oh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Kale before we leave. It's just to see what he thinks of this time. Huh? It's important that she has a vice president. Your turn. Doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica whizzes as you exit the room. Phew! Things have been a little hectic today, haven't they? At this club, I really hit you unhappy. Oh, oh! I feel like that kind of small for that as president. I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how Natsuki is and everything, and with you being a little, you know. Uh, sometimes it feels like you and I are only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because people. Okay, I'm ending us off so after this. Because we've been hard time and spent together. But I mean, I mean. It's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know you would, you could understand. So that's why. No, wait, not yet. No! Why does this keep doing that, man? Like, I got him. Okay, there's three poems. Now, what? I gotta choose a person right now. I'm gonna. I don't know where this is going now. Because I think my hypothesis of making this little triangle, that little triangle thing I said in the last episode, I don't think that's happening right now. I think that's more. I think that's what Dan Salvato was trying to aim for. Trying to throw me off. Like. I have, man. Like, I want to write to Yuri, but like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I could go to Natsuki, but that could kill Yuri. But I could go with Yuri, they could kill Yuri too. So I don't even know. 
Um, and then I'm glad Nathan never answered back because I asked yesterday if I went with the name on the Natsuki route or what have been. But you know what? I'm gonna end this episode off, and I'm just gonna end the session here. I don't know if I'm gonna end the session, but I'm gonna end it off here for now. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys. Uh, excuse me in the next video. Bye bye.